Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another, hope not. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom, ministries, international video or videos. I'm Kenithia Johnson. Welcome back. Or Kenithia J. Thought I felt something trying to bite me. Kotoba. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this blessed new day. Hallelujah. To share your gospel with your people. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. Be on your good side and obedience. Thank you. I pray I continue to trust you. Now, right where. Koshala yaba, yaba. I pray I'm right where I'm supposed to be, when I'm supposed to be there at one time. And I pray Psalm 141, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Psalm 141, verse 4, please be the dormant of my lips. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'll be. Kosho la yaba da yaba ba bo bo bo. I'm so sleepy, tired. Okay, Apostles Creed. I believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Thank you, Jesus. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So, the great commission. I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy and tired. And so I'm speaking tongues to cut my yarning short. So I'm beyond here just yarning. Reaching others for Jesus. Uh, we're going to talk about the Great Commission. The Lord is really set on us recruiting for his kingdom right now. He wants people to know that he didn't call them into the kingdom just to sit there and go to Bible study. But he wants everybody to be actively sharing his word. Praise God. He wants everyone who he's who he's accepted to share him. Okay, he didn't do it just for you. It's always for him and, and somebody else. You understand? Whatever God do for you, he'll let you know when something is just for you. But 99% of the time, it's not just about you. It's about everybody. So, the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain, which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has, given, has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. Who are the hardest to reach people? I'm sorry, who are the hardest 
to reach people in your community? Who are the hardest people to reach in your community? And what ways can you tell them about Jesus? Okay. So in this community here at Predestined Kingdom Ministries, that's why we have these Bible study videos. It's so you can learn more about the Lord and his kingdom. And then prophecy comes in by the Lord. He prophesies when he feels like it. But this ministry is solely based on saving souls and, and, and teaching the word of God first. Prophecy could come whenever because God doesn't need a prophet. He needs a prophet, but he don't need a prophet. He could raise up a prophet. You, you, if that makes sense. So yes, we may need a prophet, but but God could use anybody. You could go anywhere and get that prophecy. God is quick. God could go through whoever and speak to you. Okay? And so when it's our turn, the Lord is saying, focus on making disciples of all the nations. Okay? Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that the Lord has commanded us. And, lo, he is with us always, even to the end of our age. Okay. So you just want to pray. I pray that the Lord gives you wisdom guides you through his Holy Spirit, that he is the doorman of your lips, that he could just fill you and decrease your flesh and speak through you and use you as his vessel. That's what I pray. In Jesus Christ's name, that you fulfill the call of the Great Commission. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So next, I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 4. And the Lord wants us to share comfort. Okay. Okay. Whom has God helped you to comfort through your own experiences of suffering? Hallelujah. We can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves we ourselves receive from God. What can you do to help them appreciate Christ's suffering on the cross through their pain? You know, just finish speaking on this, Pastor Jamila Gooden and Pastor Fred Gooden at um Unity Church. They just were speaking on and she's been going over it. Can you praise the Lord through rejection? Can you praise the Lord when he tells you you're supposed to be with this man, but this man is wearisome? Can you trust the Lord when this man, Kashalaba, keep breaking your heart to say he's testing you? Can you really trust the Lord? Hallelujah. When you don't have no money to your name, but God saying, trust me, worship me, come to church, come to this prayer meeting. Come to this Bible study. Will you still go? Will you serve the Lord even while you're uncomfortable? While you're being rejected? When the church is coming against you? When the family don't want you? <laughs> Will you still worship the Lord? There is comfort. There is comfort in Jesus, even through pain and suffering. He still comforts you, and he comforts you in a way that's fulfilling. 
Hallelujah. It's so fulfilling that you forget you even suffering until the moment. Until, you know, you can't maximize the moment no more. And then you got to go back to reality. That's how good Jesus is. Praise God. But will you still do it? I. It's hard for me to talk about it. I do it. But it's not easy at all. It's not easy being hurt and worshiping God. and I'm still heartbroken, y'all. I'm still heartbroken. So I pray you do it. I pray you, you worship the Lord and you keep going. Okay. And 1 Corinthians 4 verse 4 says, I thank my God always concerning you for the grace of God, which was given to you by Christ Jesus. And this is Paul writing the Corinthians church. So he's telling them that God's grace is sufficient for them. Praise God. Like he keeps telling me his grace is sufficient. I thank you, Papa. <laughs> God's grace is sufficient unto you. Amen. God's grace. God's grace is supposed to give you comfort through your suffering experiences. The grace that we have for him to still love on us, for him to still receive us, for him to still say, that's my child. Well done, not good. In fact. For the Lord to even speak like that is because of his grace, because he took the call. He answered it. He went on Golgotha, on Calvary, and he saved us. And that's not all grace covers, but those are like some of the most important things before the sin. Like, really? When Jesus, I'm not telling you to go sin. Don't watch this video and think you got to pass the sin. But when the Lord went on the cross, that's what covers our sins. Grace covers us, but Calvary covered our, it covers our sins. That's what the whole cross was for. He knew we weren't going to be down here just doing everything he said. And so he went on the cross, was crucified, died and buried, rose again in three days. All for every one of us in our sins. Your sins could be drinking. Your sins could be telling God, no, I don't want to give somebody a blessing because they don't look like this. Your sins could be smoking. Your sins could be being a narcissistic parent, trying to stop their child from being healed or receiving money. Your your sins could be neglecting your child. Wherever your child needed you, you just weren't there. Everybody has a different sin. So the Lord is saying, who are you to be God? Who are you to say no to him like that? The Lord is speaking. Ah, God's grace. I love the Lord. Cause just when the devil or when another church member try to come and, 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 and say, no, it's not, you still got no, here come the Lord. He said, my, he said, my grace is sufficient for Kenithia. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I praise the Lord. I pray I have a blessed day. Okay. Shalom.